Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on the time zone. Now, if the impeachment of Regatta Gasagwa was supposed to be done by Kenyans, then I can tell you today, as I'm speaking, both William Ruto and Regatta Gasagwa would have been sent home direct by Kenyans. The people of this country are tired by Ruto and Gashagwa. So the discussion we are having is about Gashagwa's impeachment to go home. And of course, public participation has been going on. Kenyans are giving their views, their solution or uh, main uh, uh, agenda in all this, what they believe, what they stand for, and what they support. Their own views is that both Ruto and Gashagwa must go. None should remain. That is the position of many Kenyans in this country. But unfortunately, we don't make a decision when it comes to impeachment. Even if there is public participation, it is the members of parliament to make a decision either to stand with the people's position or stand with their position. And we know very well they never consider public participation. So, the Gaza Gashagwa's impeachment is going to go on. But a wise Kenyans, Kenyan decided to compose a song and deliver a strong message to this government as far as the position of majority of Kenyans is concerned on this impeachment of Rigadi Gashagwa. For them, in this song, is that Ruto must go, Gashagwa must go. Anyone between these two, if he's going to remain, Anaenda Kunyanyasa wa Kenya. So all of them must go. <laughs> so that is the song. Kufa Dereva, Kufa Makanga. Wanasema kwa wote walikuja pamoja. Akibaki moja atatunyanyasa. This song is speaking to volumes of views from Kenyans as far as this impeachment is concerned. Kufa Dereva! Kufa Makanga! 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 Waende wote! Atutabaki na moja! Atunyanyase! Wali kucha pa moja! Kufa Dereva! Kufa Makanga! Waende wote! Atutabaki na moja! Atunyanyase! Kishaga ende nyumbani Kishaga nasumbua serikali People are supreme to power That is blackmailing us Kama vile Kama vile John Cena Kama umewa wrestling Vile anapanya watu na mna hii Munaona Vile anatupanya na mna hii Tuwaondua wote Mimi si ungi mkono Kwa kutumuliwa Kwa kashakwa Hata hiyo masikini ages Mimi siweze sign Kwa za anything can happen at any time Kwa hiyo Kwa hiyo masikini ages Na kama munataka sasa muju opinioni yangu sasa Opinioni yangu kama
blood One nation Now as we continue with the final discussion Just a quick request for those who are watching And you have not yet subscribed Please consider subscribing To our returning subscribers I must say thank you so much And again to all our viewers Please give this video a thumbs up Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, kufa dereva, kufa makanga. Hatuta baki na moja atunyanyasi. Walikuja pamoja. That is the message in that song. You know, someone has been watching the views of Kenyans. You go to Rift Valley, you come to Mount Kenya, you come to Western. You go to Nyanza, I've been listening to all this. Majority of Kenyans are of the view that both must go. So they're not saying that there is a clean person. They're not saying that Gashagwa should not go. They're saying Ruto and Gashagwa must go together. Ruto akibaki na Gashagwa ende, Ruto atananyasa wa Kenya. Gashagwa akiena na Ruto, eh, sorry, Ruto akiena na Gashagwa baki, Gashagwa atananyasa wa Kenya. So none of them is clean. They all must go. You know, there's the power of the song. Even during campaign, politicians will look for uh, for artists to compose music for them. Because they know through the songs, you can send a critical message to a community. So someone is trying to send a message to the community. You have your power of the song. If you go and see people are really sharing that song, it has a message. And people are getting the message as it is. These are the views. This song is carrying the majority, the views of the majority of Kenyans. They are saying what went. I think this is sending a lot of heat in the state house. I heard of Gashagwa's impeachment. If, if politicians had come to Kenya the way they have come through the public participation, then the views of majority of Kenya is that Gashagwa must go. <laughs> they will be happy that they already their plan has been endorsed. But the worst thing for William Ruto, in as much we know, he's going to execute his plan to the end. The fact remains that his plan has failed to get the endorsement of Kenyans. Kenyans have refused to embrace William Ruto's planned impeachment. So it has not got the blessings of the Kenyans through the public participation. In fact, it has come a, a, a curse and a thorn in the flesh for William Ruto because now they are demanding the impeachment of William Samuel Ruto. I don't know why the, uh, the Azimio side, the Wale Wakatu Wakalonzo, why can't they prepare the impeachment of Gashab, sorry, William Ruto? Okuja Nayata come at a fail. They put signatures. They should try it. Now Kenya are discussing about Kufa uh, the river, Kufa Makanga. Why not wipe a person or the DAPK? Not organize for collecting signatures to table a motion of impeachment of on William Samuel Ruto because Kenyans are saying Ruto must go together with the Shangwa. Someone must wake these members of parliament from slumber if they are serious. Waacha mambo ya kusema wanatetea Gashagwa asiende. Wakuja kusema kwamba wana impeach Ruto. Now they will be angering what Kenyans already have said through the public participation. Wakileta impeachment ya William Ruto. It will be well welcomed by a majority of Kenyans. Yaani kulingana vile watu wanaongea saa hizi you are tabling impeachment of William Samuel Ruto. It will be hallelujah. People will be celebrating. And they will come out in their numbers during public participation to endorse that idea. 
But Ruto has lacked the blessings of Kenyans on impeachment of Rigathi Gachagua. Aenda akijua ako peke yake kwa hii impeachment kwa sababu wa Kenya walitamani sana jina la mheshimiwa William Ruto to top on this impeachment. Then Gachagua fought pale kama deputy yake. So in my view the interpretation of this song is that none of these people can be trusted to lead us they believe that if ruto is in power ananyanyasa wa kenya if the shaka will be in power is going to exploit kenyans so no clean person no one should remain in office all must go sasa kama kuna kuna mambo ruto alikuwa anajaribu kutafuta hapa kwa public participation bas mambo ndio hayo habari mfikie wa Kenya hawampendi wa Kenya hawamtaki wanatamani akwe asubuhi akifanya shughuli zake lakini not in the office of the deputy president and the Kashagwa is not you know wanted to be the at the Harambe annex okay hayo ndio maoni ya Kenya so you might just see it as a song but it is carrying a very heavy message only that we don't uh, impeach the president direct the president directly but if it were kenyans to impeach then they will be doing an impeachment of ruto and gachagua so ni wabonge ndio wako na nafasi ya kufana hiyo So this is a warning from Kenyans in beach all of this too. That is now the message from that hit song. I'm sure Tim Gashagwa is celebrating. They um they even did not anticipate to have such a situation whereby Kenyans are not only calling for his impeachment but also for his boss impeachment. So the Shaka will be celebrating. Mna nifukuta mkifikiria mko clean. Wa Kenya wanasema pia nyinyi muende nyumbani. That is the message. Nyinyi wote muende nyumbani kusikwe na mtu yote ambaye atabaki hapa. So team Gashagwa might be celebrating this situation. And that is now the message from Kenyans to those in power. Those in authority wamechoka wamechoka kunyanyaswa na wanataka watu hao wote waende mbali i don't know your views but let us be in the comment section to continue with this discussion thank you so much and see you in our next video